Prices at the grocery store are a major concern this year. The latest consumer price index shows feeding ourselves is up 10 percent over last year in the U.S. It's not just an American phenomenon either. For instance, in Turkey, prices across the board are up 70 percent from 2021 for food and fuel. Of course, the war in Ukraine is partly responsible, but there's a number of things driving these prices, according to LSU Ag Center economist Dr. Michael Deliberto. We've also seen vegetable oil indexes up 25 percent year over year. The cereal index, the corn index up 17 and 25 percent year over year, mainly on supply issues, but also transportation, log logistics, and then the ultimate uncertainty in agriculture, weather. Drought concerns not only in the U.S. for the wheat crop, South American corn and soybean crop, drought in France for their wheat crop. So all of these things collectively are acting to drive the price of food higher. Prices for fuel and fertilizer have driven farmers to make changes in what they farm. In Louisiana, that means more beans and fewer acres of corn. The decision is pure economics, according to Grayson Close, a grain marketing specialist with the Louisiana Farm Bureau Marketing Association. I think, honestly, margins are going to be down, even with higher prices on commodities that we're getting right now. The, it's more than offset by fuel and fertilizer and, and seed. A lot of people are planting stuff and they don't know what their seed's costing them. So I think margins are going to be down overall, even though we're in a high price scenario. Another potential issue is upcoming work on the old river lock system scheduled to begin in August. This is right when Louisiana farmers would need access to ship their grains, but would be closed to barge traffic. Farmers expecting a premium on their grains for being so close to the Gulf might actually start seeing a negative. Andy Brown says the Louisiana Farm Bureau is actively working on the situation to hopefully delay it until after harvest is over. We're trying to ask the Corps with a, a mini organizational partners to just simply delay the start of that project until after uh, the critical harvest season. So begin November 1 and, and we'll certainly understand and partner with them uh, to, to move forward in that direction. The most recent consumer price index released in May shows a 1% increase in food prices, even for eating at home over April. Over the last year, we've seen an 8.3% increase for all items. And of course, Kristen, one thing that's making big waves in the news is the lack of baby formula. And this is just one of those other supply chain issues mixed with, you know, there was a plant in Michigan that shut down. And so it's one of those things that just helps and aids driving up the prices. And until we see a reduction of some of that, uh, or an increase in demand, or supply, I should say, and a reduction in demand, we're just going to be with inflation for the foreseeable future. It seems like it's everything. If there's a price increase on everything, mm -hmm. cars, the market for the, the chips yeah. that they put in cars. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed driving in, all of those, that motor mile that we are on on Airline yes. Highway in Baton Rouge, they're empty. Yeah. And it's all because they're bought. I've never seen it like that. And the used car market is through the roof. I it mean. Is. The housing market, yeah. it's, it's yeah. not a good time to buy anything. No, and unless you're, if you're buying a car, it's better if you order it new because you'll be getting it as right. long as you can wait that time. But yeah. if you can't wait, man, you're just paying through the nose. It sounds like we're all going to have to tighten our bootstraps for a while <laughs> or whatever the phrase is that they say. So yep. thanks for bringing the story to us, Neil Malonsong.